Welcome to English Country Life. We're following cinnamon, one of our broody hens, through the breeding season, through incubating, hatching and raising her chicks. This week we're in week three of her incubation period and we're going to be looking at what exactly does she do inside the coop all day and we're going to be handling her eggs to test for development. Welcome, my name's Fiona. We're working with the brilliant podcasters, Chrissy and Holly, who are Coffee with the Chicken Ladies. And this year we are following Cinnamon, one of our broody hens, through her breeding season. So that is incubating, hatching, and raising her chicks. We're in week three and Cinnamon is close to hatching, but not quite there yet. This week I've been talking to Chrissy and Holly about what exactly is Cinnamon doing inside the coop? Because every time I open the hatch door, it looks like she's sitting completely still, very, very calm. I've put some hidden cameras inside the coop to actually find out, is that really what she's doing? The other thing we've discussed this week is the development of the eggs. And one process that we undertake here is candling the eggs. So I'm going to show you that process so you can see what we're actually trying to achieve. Let's get started and see what Cinnamon's really up to in the coop. Cinnamon is spending roughly 23 hours of every day incubating her eggs. She comes out of the coop for about an hour in the late UK spring temperatures to eat, drink and poop. It's easy to think she's relaxing and spending a lot of time sleeping. And to be fair, there is a lot of sleeping and dozing going on. But during the day, our hidden cameras reveal that she's really very busy. There's nests to be built. The eggs are in a beautifully formed bowl below her, but to keep the temperature and humidity at the right levels for the eggs, she'll also build up the sides, as you can see her doing here. It's a never-ending job, and every time she moves around or leaves the coop, she'll repeat this exercise. One of the most important tasks that she does is to turn the eggs. The reason that Cinnamon does this is so that the developing chick inside the egg doesn't adhere to the shell. To hatch, the chick needs to make a hole in the shell and then manoeuvre around inside the egg to nibble a lid out of the shell and then push its way out. If it's stuck to the inside of the egg, it can't do this. I've timed Cinnamon and she's turning the eggs approximately every 30 minutes and that keeps her the busiest. She's in a constant state of alert too. Although Cinnamon has a run on a coop and it's highly unlikely anything could get to her, this wouldn't have been the case when her ancestors were wild. This means she's evolved to be constantly watching for danger and be ready to defend the nest if necessary. She'll spring to attention if she hears the other chickens. And if she hears Hugh or myself, or if she hears a dog on the nearby lane. And as Chrissy from Coffee with the Chicken Ladies keeps asking me, yes, Cinnamon does have chicken TV. She's staring directly out of the pop hole all day long so she can watch the world go by. That's her equivalent of chicken TV. Candling simply describes shining a very bright light through the shell of the egg to see how well development is progressing. This is the unit that we move. It's made by Titan and it allows us to sit an egg on the small rubber stand and then shine the light through it. We candle the eggs at day 8 and day 15 or 16. Let me show you some of the eggs from the day 8 candling so that you can see what we're looking for. This is an infertile egg. You can see the yolk at the top and a large clear space underneath. In contrast, this is an egg that's developing well. You can see that in comparison to the infertile egg, there's a large opaque area and this is the chick starting to form in the egg. As the eggs were from our own flock, the fertility was high. We do test our cockles for fertility before we select our breeding cockle each year. Any eggs that were not fertilised or have stopped developing can be removed from the nest. 
If we don't remove them, the contents of the egg start to decompose. And as the egg is porous, the gases generated could affect the other eggs, so it's best to take them out. Cinnamon's on day 19 of her incubation process and because it takes 21 days to incubate her eggs, she's not far off hatching. So don't forget to come back next week and check out the hatching process. Chrissy and Holly will be discussing the entire process with me and asking all of the questions that are probably burning in your mind. So don't forget to listen into their podcast and that's Coffee with the Chicken Ladies and a link to their podcast is in the description below. We're very, very excited to share with you the highs and the lows of hatching day with a broody hen. So we look forward to seeing you. If you have liked this content, take a moment and give us a thumbs up below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll be notified of every new video as soon as it goes live. If you'd like to support the channel, our branded t-shirts are available in our eBay store and a link to that is in the description below. If you've got any questions for me, don't forget to leave them in the comments section and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. But for now, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.